So, what is H-I-R-A-R-C? H-I-R-A-R-C is broken down to three elements, which is hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control. Hazard identification. Recognizing items or material which are potential threat that may cause injury, while risk assessment the ability to analyze the possibility of a person getting harm or injured when exposed to the hazard. Lastly, risk control measures or action taken to eliminate the risk or minimize the risk of the person exposed to the hazard. The sole purpose of hazard identification, risk assessment and risk awareness of hazards and risk. Secondly, to effectively manage workplace and safety hazards. Thirdly, to identify who may be at risk. Fourthly, to determine whether a control program is required for a particular hazard to determine if existing control measures are adequate. Next, to prevent injuries or illness. Moving on, to prioritize hazards and control measures and finally, to meet legal requirements where applicable. Hazard and risk. Hazard means a source or situation with a potential for harm in terms of human injury, damage to property or damage to the environment. Meanwhile, risk means a combination of the likelihood of an occurrence of a hazardous event and the severity of injury. The process of HIRLC includes four basic steps which are classify work activities, identify hazard, conduct risk assessment and decide on risk control. The works are classified in accordance with their similarity as the factors below. There are three types of hazards which are health hazard, environmental hazard and safety hazard. For risk analysis, you may opt for qualitative analysis which uses words to describe based on knowledge and experiences or quantitative analysis which uses numerical value based on scientific research or even semi-quantitative analysis. The parameters are likelihood of an event occurrence and the severity of hazard. There are five categories for likelihood as below and also five categories for severity of hazard as below. The result of risk analysis can be presented by using a risk matrix as below where red color region indicates high risk, yellow for medium and green for low. The risk control measures are ranked in decreasing order of effectiveness, starts with elimination of hazards, substitution, engineering control, administrative controls and finally personal protective equipments. That's all from our group. Thank you for watching.